Good afternoon, everybody. This is Rob Cairns from CEO and Chief Creator of Amazing Ideas from StunningDigitalMarketing.com. Today, I thought we'd do a quick tutorial on how to use the foot boxes in Aveda. For those who don't know, the foot boxes in Aveda look like this. And they're really cool. They're actually foot boxes. So I'm going to show you on a live site, which is our site. And down here, halfway, we say FAQs about our services, and they flip over. It's not cool. These are foot boxes. In the old days, to do this kind, you had to do lots of coding. Guess what? Not anymore. Let me show you. Let's go to the dashboard. Let's go to our pages. Let's go to all pages. And what we're going to do is I'm actually going to bring up for you the live stunningdigitalmarketing.com front page because it's easier to show you, <coughs> excuse me, on a live example. Uh, here we go. Let's edit the page. And then we'll, once we get into the page, we'll scroll down and show you where the foot boxes are. just taking a minute for the page to populate. There we go. And let's scroll down in the Fusion Builder. There we go. And it says foot boxes. This is the foot box element. How you add that element, if you go to element and you choose uh, foot boxes, it will add the footbox element. Well, let's work with one that's already here. So let's go click on the pencil to edit it. First of all, we have four footboxes. I can add another one by clicking the plus. And each footbox, let's go into the first one, has different properties. What the heading is on the front side, what the heading on the back side is, what the content on the front side is, and what the content on the back side is right here. So in this case, we say, do you work with clients not in Toronto? The backside headings, of course we do. I've chosen to put no front side content in. I just want the heading word. And then on the front side, back side, we have this. So this actually looks like, do you work with clients not in Toronto? Of course we do. Here's the heading and then the text. That's simple. Then if we go to animation, there's none. That's the default we usually use. We go back to general and we scroll down. It lets us here specify the color for the front side. So I'm not going to change this, but I could put in the hex code here, or I could actually put in the color down here. And then for the heading front side, I'm using white, but I can change that same way. And the text color, I'm using white on the front side, but I'm not really using any front side text, so it doesn't matter. On the background color on the back side, I'm using the same blue. And the back side heading, if you remember, they're in red. Here's red. There's the red. And I can change the color the same way in any so I can put the hex code in or I can go choose a color. Really, that's easy. And you can specify the text color for the back side. So on my back side, I'm using white. So that's why these come out with white text. That's really how you do the foot boxes. You specify the border size and the colors if you want. I've used the standard ones and away you go. That's simple. That's how you create a foot box in Aveda to benefit to the Aveda page builder. As always, Rob Karen, StunningDigitalMarketing.com for the best in your digital marketing needs with a quick tutorial showing you on the live site on StunningDigitalMarketing.com how the foot boxes are set up and how you edit them and change them. Have a great day everybody. Bye for now.